Welcome to the first episode of Spooks and Flukes. <laughs> it's Nathan's birthday. Turned 16 today. Coming out here on Delta Lake. Already hit a couple mornings. 49 degrees. Water temp still 71 degrees. Pretty warm. But we're going to try to do what we call the show spooks and flukes yeah. and then uh switch to maybe a drop shot sinkos i'm gonna try to catch a few fish this morning uh big morning for a 16 year old nathan <laughs> got some biscuits and gravy to go back home to this morning so we got a couple hours to put it together yeah. uh so hopefully we get some good footage He's hooked up. Oh my Ooh. gosh, this is a good one. Flukes and flukes, baby, I'm telling you. Just got back from breakfast. It was nice. Uh, some biscuits and gravy. Uh, Nathan said he's not coming back out here. He doesn't feel well now. So I'm going to go back out. I'm going to try to do a little bit more drop shotting out there on the ledge. And uh, hopefully try to find a nice school of smallmouth. Uh, wind's starting to pick up out of the, uh, let's say, east, southeast. Uh, we got a front coming in. Maybe they'll start biting here in a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna give it a couple hours and I'm probably gonna have to call it a day. It is my son's birthday. Uh, you know, he wanted to fish most of the day, but I don't think he's up to it now <laughs> after breakfast. So we'll see what happens.
グラウンドレール。まあ、ね Delta League's Marmot, I tell you, this place is phenomenal. Bring my own backyard. Show you guys kind of what I got going on right here. Uh, it's a textbook drop shot. Okay, uh, I'm using a number one drop shot hook, Gamogatsu. Can't go wrong with Gamogatsu. Okay, uh, my spinning reels I have braid on. Okay, I don't have any spinning reels that have straight fluorocarbon. So what I do is I use a barrel swivel. I'm using a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. A lot of guys will use 8, 10, 6 pound fluorocarbon leader, which is fine, especially with the water super clear. Right now the water is not clear, it's got like a green tint. We're getting into that fall color, the grass is starting to die a little bit, it's getting chopped up by boats, it's got a little bit of algae. So you don't have super clear water. But by me using a 12 pound fluorocarbon, I like it because it allows me to set the hook a little bit harder. Okay, and drive that hook a little bit home versus just kind of reeling into them. You know, when you reel into a lot of smallmouth drop shotting, you lose a lot of fish. Um, I know a lot of guys, you use a, uh, you know, like a one alt straight shank hook. Um, and it's probably a better setup for this 12 pound fluorocarbon. I currently don't have any, which is why I'm not using one. I get there in the mail though. Um, but that's why I like this 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm allowed to really kind of yank on them a little bit harder. And, you know really drive that hook home on them uh i caught several already i've only been out here maybe 15 20 minutes i had a walleye hooked i've missed several already uh so i'm just gonna keep it plugging away here kind of when i'm fishing it's uh it's a flat that goes to a drop off uh a nice ledge uh it goes from about 15 to 30 feet uh they're not off the ledge they're not suspended off of it they're on top of the flat basically just before it drops off there and they're kind of relating close to the bottom we got a lot of pods of bait fish that are just kind of hole in this area and these smallmouth are just kind of underneath of them swimming around roaming around not necessarily feeding on them right yet uh, but they are real close to these pods of bait fish and these pods of bait fish are constantly moving so i'm not really sitting on one spot i'm sitting in an area i'm making sure i'm staying in that 15 foot of water uh between 15 and 13 foot of water before you get to the grass uh and staying kind of close to the drop off and that's kind of where I'm finding all these small mud. They're just roaming this whole area right here. So uh, let's keep plugging away.
not as big as I thought. Definitely a chunker though. I think I'm gonna call it in the morning. I'm gonna go home, have some lunch, put this little guy back. Uh, maybe come back out this evening, uh, have my son with me, and hopefully, you know, we'll get on some more fish. But before I go, let me tell you, it is absolutely crucial, okay, to have a drop shot on your deck at all times, okay. I don't care if you're deep cranking, shallow cranking, frogging, fishing heavy cover. I don't care where you're fishing. Always have a drop shot on your deck. It's very important. The reason I say that is you never know what you're going to come across on your craft. You're out there shallow, you're going across or whatever. Or if you get a blow up, you know, in heavy cover. You, if you're fishing a braid and, you know, throw a drop shot on some braided line, just to drop it in a hole... It works. I've done it many, many times. Um, it's a perfect drop bait, um, or perfect drop setup, I should say. Uh, and it just, you can almost throw anything on a drop shot. You know, I've seen people throw creature baits. You know, Cinco's and worms are probably the most uh, used when it comes to drop shot because you, you're throwing more finesse. I mean, that's really what it is. But your options are limitless when it comes to what you put on your hook. And I throw beaver tail style creature styles. I throw you know freaking eight inch worms on a drop shot. You know, you know, it's just never know when you're gonna wish you had it on your deck. You're gonna be at that time where oh man, I wish I had it. I wish I could drop it, but it's not there. It's not tied on. Always have a drop shot tied on. So like I said, uh, I'm going to call it a morning. Uh, hope you guys take some good information from this. Uh, today, what I was using again, uh, number one, Gamagatsu uh, drop shot hook uh, and Strike King's dream shots. Uh, I was throwing a ghost shad uh, when I was chartreuse the second half of it, and then I just switched to a completely chartreuse colored um, dream shot. So fun day out here on delta lake i love this lake i live on this lake uh hopefully i'll make some videos of some different places where i'm going to be going uh hopefully this youtube channel shakes off and it's going to be educational it's going to be fun i have my kids with me a lot uh you know who knows who i have with me fishing you know who knows where i want to go but uh Right now, this morning wasn't too bad. It says it's a pre-front condition. Uh, we have kind of an east wind blowing today. Drop shot, you know, definitely sealed the deal today. Caught some really good fish. Missed a lot of fish. Uh, caught a couple bonus walleyes. Unfortunately, they got off, and I'm not taking them home to fillet them, and my wife's going to kill me for that. But other than that, you guys have a great day.